Google Maps and Google Earth especially have had a huge impact in environmental causes, ranging from former Vice President Gore of the United States to uh, the World Wildlife Fund. What happens is that as we show the whole world, the whole planet, in high detail, it makes a perfect platform for environmental groups to tell their story. For example, in the United States, a year ago we had a big uh, congressional debate about drilling in the uh, Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Well, really, very few people in the United States have ever been to the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. So the Sierra Club built a very complex tour in Google Earth. Fly people to Alaska, fly them to the area, show them where the drilling sites would be, and then explain migration paths of polar bears and all these other kind of animal things. And then they show all the other places that are already populated with wells. It turns out that out of the entire North Shore of Alaska, only one hundredth of the area doesn't have oil wells, and that's this last Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. So as soon as people saw that, the bill was killed. So it was an understanding that made that work better. And people have used Google Earth to show whole-scale mountaintop removal in Western Virginia. People have used it to uh, show rogue logging plans in uh, California near the Google campus. So uh, literally uh, dozens, if not hundreds, of environmental groups are using Google Earth right now to tell their stories using something called Google Earth Outreach. And if you go to uh, earth.google.com slash outreach, you can find out just how to uh, tell your story, whether it's about salmon fisheries or water pollution or any story you have, we have all the instructions, so you just how to do it and you can have over 200 million people can see your story, maybe get involved and help you change the world.